welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. Today I'm in my friend Carolyn Martin's garden as um, I would like to say they've got a small garden so I wanted to show you the clever ideas they've come up with that they grow all their veg in and their flowers. So I'm over here with Carol and the wall planters and if you'd like to talk me through how Martin, your husband, made these for you. So these wall planters on the wall of our shed, these are all um, big cleaning detergent bottles and they're just cut in half so you can see some have got the lids and they'd be the top and then the other half is the bottom and they are all um, attached to the shed with screws and washers. Uh, so these were, were free so that we don't like to spend any money on things if we can help it and these went up um, the first week in May so they haven't been up very long at all and they have grown really really well really yeah recently. you can see they're really flowering well and you've got all different kinds of vegetables in them and we've got um, all different herbs we've got some flowers as well and some strawberries some sweet peas some borage a real mixture of different things the idea was that there would be diagonal stripes of flowers and herbs oh, okay. but everything's grown so quickly and so upright it's not quite going to work out in the yeah. stripes but really pleased with those oh great we're now standing by the brassica cage which martin has made um i think for three pounds i think it? it was about three pounds um it's uh the frame is an old pop-up greenhouse that had just um gone past its best so the frame is from that uh, we bought some of the net the rest of the net Martin found in a skip and then it's just um, sewn onto the frame with some string so yeah hoping that will keep the nasty cabbage whites off of the brassicas yes way. definitely and uh, it just goes to show never throw anything away everything can always be reused and repurposed oh it's great isn't it and it's really uh, light so you can just take it off and put it back on yeah lovely job so we're now standing in front of what Carol calls her cotton shed which is the um, put up greenhouse isn't it mm -hmm. uh, which is a really handy size you said for um, standing in when it's raining and still being able to get on with your exactly. uh, cotton on don't have to go indoors when it's raining now lovely and just behind me are some planters that um, how did you make this one so this one um, last year we had a new kitchen and we had an old shelving unit in the kitchen that we didn't need anymore so that was taken apart and um, you can see the the bottom bit and this bit are literally the shelves so this was just the kitchen shelving unit put back together in a different order with some black plastic stapled in the bottom and we've got um, different salad crops in there and then a grow bag on the top with some cucumbers in. Great! And what about these tubs here, Carol? So these um, big black square tubs are just old delivery crates and they've got raspberries, um, some uh, Shiraz peas in which are sugar snap peas which I'm really pleased with and some dwarf beans and then we've got some strawberries and a blueberry and some rosemary. Wow, you've packed as much as you possibly can in. Yeah, sometimes um, a little bit too much. So the, the peas are actually in with the raspberries because I didn't realise how much the raspberries would grow up. So that's why the peas have had to be encouraged to grow forward. Excellent. Great. This is such a great example of growing in containers. I grow a little bit in containers, but I'm astounded at the amount of produce that's going on in this garden. Let's go and have a look at some more. We're now over by one of the many strawberry planters that are in the garden and um, this is made out of an old bit of pallet. So how long have you had this Carol? So this has been here uh, two or three years now. That's, it's been here a while. Um, we've had really good, good luck with the strawberries this year. Seems to be a good year for strawberries. Yeah, you can see. You haven't had any pigeons come and eat them? Or? No, we have quite a lot of pigeons in the garden, but they, I think because it's quite narrow, they don't oh, land okay. on it. Yeah, excellent. Another great example of growing up a wall rather than on the floor. So we're now outside your shed, which I believe you've 
only recently put in, am I right? Yeah, we put the shed in last October, so that hasn't been in very long. And we thought, um, because you can see the, the end of the shed from the house, it would be nice to have something quite decorative. So uh, Martin built this planter here uh, from some pieces of wood he acquired from somewhere. And we've got sunflowers growing up. Well, wow, your sunflowers have really grown, haven't they? They are They're unbelievably really quick. Off. You can kind of watch them growing at the moment. How, uh, how high are they going to grow? Um, they're a mixture of some of them are giant and some of them should be red sunflowers. Ooh. And I don't think the red ones will be quite as high, but we've never grown sunflowers before. Oh, so. right. Well, I'll have to come back and film them in full bloom. Yeah, yeah that would be great. And I see you've also got a lemon uh, tree here and an olive tree behind you. Yep. So it's adding a lovely splash of colour to this side of the garden. Yeah. Great. Every bit of this garden is just maximised to its most potential and both Carol and Martin are Star Wars enthusiasts as is myself and I just love the fact that there's a couple of statues dotted here and there I think it's really important in a garden to put something of yourself in there and um, this garden certainly does that. Another thing I love about this garden is that there's also flowers in amongst the vegetables which is a really nice way to grow. Um, companion planting is um, the way forward I think. Over here is a great area for insects and bees to hibernate over the winter as well as just being really, really cute. castor oil plant, Carol, and um, you said you've got an upcoming project to do. Yeah, the plan for next spring is we're going to take out this castor oil plant and we are going to put a small pond over oh. here because we get quite a lot of frogs and toads in the garden anyway, so we'd like to try and encourage those and also we'd like them to move in and then eat all of the slugs. So this is going to come out and a little pond is going to go here and we're going to make the pond from an old wheelbarrow. Oh, okay. Martin had a wheelbarrow at work that they didn't need anymore, so we've already got the, the, the bowl of the wheelbarrow and that's going to be uh, sunken into the ground there with some big rocks around it and I'm thinking possibly some irises and that's the plan for next spring. Oh, blimey. Well, if you do you first, a wheelbarrow into a pond. We'll have to come back and have a look. But all I can say about this garden is it's definitely a lovely job.